hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is favor matthew also known as mamika herself okay so in this video we are going to be talking about youtube intros are you stuck on having that perfect youtube intro no problem i am here to help i am going to be walking you step by step on how to create that youtube intro that talks about your content idea and tells a bit about your personality so this video has been splitted into segments also known as chapters so in order not to waste too much of your time you can just skip to the chapter that best suits your interest you understand so we're going to be working on vlogging intros tech channel intros food channel intros lifestyle very popular so we are going to be working with these four channel niches so with that said let's move into the business of today so just to be clear we are going to be working with google CapCut, and canva so now before we go backstage and you know start doing all the work and yada 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 please i would love you to subscribe that is your only little way of encourage me to keep posting content and honestly it goes a long way into helping my productivity spirit so i would love you to subscribe to my channel and please do well to like this video so that the algorithm can push it to many more people that might likely find it useful thank you god bless you for that so let us go so now we are on canva um the mobile version so we are going to come over to the search bar and we're starting with the tech channel so we are just going to come in here and type youtube intro for okay youtube intro tech channel yes it's going to load up options of different templates that is doing okay the youtube intro for tech and we are just going to pick the one that we like and of course the one that is free so i kind of like this one so i'm just going to click on it so after it loads up man looking at it you know that there are some kind of techy techy things going on here and let me just expand it a bit so that you see so it's left for me now to change the name and to add a profile picture to the circle over there so i would click on the existing text so i can edit and add my channel name favor matthew so after doing that i would go for that to change this live stream to channel so now it's already giving a welcome to favor matthew channel in a techie kind of way so i want to go ahead and fill in that circle with a photo of me so that to add more personality to the youtube intro so i'll go ahead and click on the purple plus button to bring out some options i can work with then i would click on elements so now i'll go up there to the search bar and type in circle frame it's going to give me so many options but i actually just need one simple frame so i'm just going to click on the one i want and it's going to import into our project so i'm just going to go ahead and resize it to be at the same size as the circle we already have there and make sure it fits so after doing that we're going to click on the plus icon again and click on uploads go to your photo library and pick your preferred image and it would load up on the project so just drag it towards the frame and adjust it to be about the same size at the frame it will automatically fit into it if you want your photo to appear a bit bigger just go over to crop an option will come out just use your two fingers to adjust it to the size you want and you're good to go so now with this done we need like a subscribe symbol somewhere so i'll just go back to the add button click on elements go to the search bar and type in a youtube subscribe button and options are going to come up i'm just going to click on the free one and place it on our project so i'll just go ahead and adjust the size of it and keep it as a corner and yes so now i have gotten my welcome to my channel look the next thing i want to do is to give an avenue for my audience to connect with me thereby posting my social media name so i'm going to go down and split this page remove the welcome sign at the top and the channel at the bottom and add in my social media name i'm going to stick with my 
to favor and i'm going to add in my social media symbols by going on the plus sign and imputing this social media symbols just go on the search bar and type in the social media icon that you want to put there click on it and it appears on the screen just for you to resize it to be a bit small and if it comes in a color that you do not like or it's not matching your channel intro just go to the color symbol and pick a color that's going to stand out do the same for other social media icons till you get you know your desired results and yes so with that done we have created a youtube intro that is fit for a tech channel and tells a bit more about our personality and can also give our audience the privilege of connecting with us so we just go ahead and save it and take it to CapCut and increase the speed so that it's not going to be too long and boring <laughs> so after increasing the speed in CapCut, we should have something like this go on youtube library look for free sounds that would match this intro and you're good so moving on let us create an intro that is fit for a food channel so when the template loads up i really like this one that is made by hey j studio so we are going to work with it you can as well scroll through the template recommendation to see anyone that actually matches your taste and work with it just to make sure it is free if you are not using the paid version of canva so i'll just go back and click on the one i like it is so fine oh my god so as we did before we are going to replace this fine antis picture here with our own you know <laughs> with our own photo so what you do is that you click on this oibo antis picture and click on the replace button it's going to direct you to your gallery so you can replace it with your own photo after your photo comes in and you'd like to make it appear bolder just click on the crop button and use your two fingers to stretch it out thereby giving it a more bolder look yes that is it for that so now we are done with our image the next thing now is to edit our text so to do that we are just going to click on the existing text and edit it to put our name so now after putting our name and you look around this intro these foods on the intro might not be the kind of food that you prepare what we are going to do now is to replace this food with the kind of foods that you prepare i am sure you would have photo of the kind of foods that you likely make so we are just going to replace them with those photos if you are using canva pro you have the leverage of using the background remover tool but if you are not you can download background remover from google play store and remove the background of your image so now after you are done putting in your food photos at different points of this intro what we're going to do now is to go over to google and download a picture that has a lot of food in the image after doing that we are going to head over to instagram and do a screen record of our page if i was a food content creator there'll be a lot of food in my page you understand why i'm not so we're just going to work with that do a screen record of your instagram page or any of your social media handle that you would like your audience to want to connect with you with after doing all this you go back to canva to your edits add a fresh page and insert that image that you took that has a lot of food in it when it loads up drag it to fit the canvas of the frame and go for that to reduce the transparency so reduce it to your preferred number for me i prefer 60 so i'm going to stick with that so now after reducing transparency i'm going to go back to that purple plus icon and go to elements and i'm going to type in the search bar for mobile phone frame and it's going to give me options i'm just going to go ahead and select the free one we like free things there are actually so many options but i'm just going to click on one and it's going to appear on the screen so i'll just go ahead and move it to the side and adjust it to be the size that i want after doing this i'm going to go back to the purple icon again and add our screen record i want to put it inside the screen of the phone so when i click on the plus icon and i see these features i just go ahead and click on my camera roll because the screen 
record is there so when i insert my screen record on most cases it might be longer than what we actually need so we're going to click on the scissors icon to trim it to our desired size after trimming to the exact time frame that we want it's just for us to carry this our screen record and place it on top of the screen if you notice the screen and the phone are looking separated so we want it to appear as if they are together so to do this while our cursor is still on the screen record we go over to position and click on go backwards then it automatically takes it back now that action has given our second page a realistic effect the next thing to do now is to add text go over to the plus sign click on text select heading and type in um, connect with me after typing connect with me you can choose the fonts that you like after selecting the fonts that matches your energy you can go for that to duplicate it now edit the duplicated one to your social media handle and adjust it to be bigger than the connect with me after doing that click on the plus button again go to elements go to the search bar and search for the social media icons that you would likely want your subscribers to connect with you with insert as many as you want and yes that's it so i figured we forgot something so we're just going to go back to the plus button click on elements go to the search bar again and type on subscribe button make sure to add it make it smaller add it to both pages and you're good so now you can go ahead to download it take it to cap cuts to increase the speed you should have something like this so to add your sound go to youtube library and you should find something so now moving on to the lifestyle channel niche just come to the search bar in the home page and type youtube intro lifestyle channel it's just going to load up multiple templates available and we are going to choose one to work with so with this multiple options you can actually just scroll and click on any one you like but there's this particular one i actually like and i'm looking for it is called beige and brown by giant r so now i have seen it so i'll just go ahead and click on it so it would insert in our fresh page this one is quite easy the only thing you have to do here is to replace the image already existing in the template and of course replace the name with your own name and add in a subscribe button so to do that i'm just going to click on the image and click on replace it will take me to my camera roll then i would click on the image i would likely want to use i will now go ahead and stretch it out with the help of the crop feature bring in my photo stretch it out with the crop feature and i'll do the same for the other images after doing that i'll go ahead and edit the existing text to my name the good thing about this particular template is that it already has a like button a subscribe button and you know a notification bell so i will just leave them like that so after editing my photo and my name it's good for me i'm just going to go ahead and save it and take it to cap cut and increase the speed so we should have something like this so this is going to serve as our first page as it is a lifestyle channel you know we have a lot of pictures so we are going to create another page where we are going to add more pictures and of course our social media handle so our subscribers can easily connect with us good good so when the intro videos template loads up we're just going to scroll and look for anyone that suits your particular style for me i'm going to look for a video created by creative pixie because it actually fits in that role that i want so the video i am looking for is created by creative pixie and i think it is titled black and white something something so i'm just going to scroll until i find it okay see i found it so i'm going to click on it and yes it's insert into our fresh page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace these pictures with my personal pictures actually if you're a lifestyle person your lifestyle picture pictures of you traveling doing all those lifestyle things and stuff like that so just replace it with them and i'll go further to change the name to favor matthew and go ahead and change the color if there is any need to edit what is there you can do it and now the next thing we want to add is our social media and we are going to go to this other page that says subscribe so we will just go ahead and copy the 
text and the border and change it to our social media handle go to the plus sign button below click on elements go to the search bar type in any social media handle you want to appear and it's going to appear and adjust to the size that you want do the same for the other social media icons and you are good so after adding your social media handle and your social media icons to it you can now go ahead and save and we should have something like this so now moving on to the vlog channel when you type in youtube intro vlog channel options are going to come in just for you to pick one and work with that one so for example the vlog that you are doing is like okay probably a day in my life or a week in my life you want to go ahead and attach short snippets of activities that you've participated in into the vlog intros so now i'll just go ahead and title this vlog that is i'll click on the existing title in the clip and write in whatever i want to write in there so after i title my vlog i'm just going to go ahead and welcome my audience i'll just click on the smaller existing text and impute my welcome address there welcome to my channel the next thing to do is to replace these existing videos that are already in this template with our own videos probably videos of what you were doing inside this vlog so i'm just going to go ahead and click on the video and click on replace then i'll go to my camera roll and look for a photo since i did not actually prepare any video for this tutorial so i'll just use a photo so i'll just go ahead and download so we are going to be working with two pages but this is going to serve as our first page which is the welcome address to our subscribers subscribers then the second page is we're going to be using the same template for the second page so what we are going to do is to come here and edit this text and write connect with me then we go for that to use the smaller text to write our social media handle i'll just take the subscribe button to the corner after doing that i'll go ahead and click on the plus sign click on elements and go up to the search bar i'll just type in any of the social media icons that i want to be present on this intro so i'm just going to import it resize it to be small and if it comes in in a color that doesn't match my intro i can go ahead and change the color and put it in the position that i want it to be so now for the different videos that you put in your intro you want to make sure that these videos are videos that are present in this vlog so i'll just go ahead and name what was going on within that particular video maybe it was errands i was running or maybe i was doing school runs or i was cooking reading anything just go ahead and tag them on different areas of the intro after doing all of that you can go ahead and save take to cap cut and increase the speed you should have something like this So now that we've learned how to make YouTube intro videos, I hope to see you making more interesting personality talking YouTube intros and I hope you did not forget to subscribe. Thank you. So till next time on my next video, stay tuned and make sure to drop a comment so that we can you know interact in the comment section because i love doing that honestly so to my next content bye